Hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm Larry Ayila of the Art Empowered African LGBT. I'm at the Regents Park. I have a special guest this afternoon. Her name is Resty. I will allow her to introduce herself. Thank you, Larry. Hello, viewers, and um, thank you for introducing me. My name is Resty Atwaire Nabukera, and I am originally from uh, Uganda. And uh, here I'm based in uh, uh, the North London. Yes. It's nice having you. Nice seeing you Good. after the pandemic. It's nice to be out. <laughs> oh, this after is, the lockdown, the pandemic. It's is like still there. letting off uh, a bird from a cage. Oh, just you know. now it's been really tough. On this, yeah. on this channel, we invite guests to share their inspiring experiences, yeah. inspiring stories. Yeah. Um, you are from Uganda. Yeah. Can you tell us what's your experience like being a lesbian from Uganda? What's uh -huh. it like being from back home? Um, it is really, really tough. It is really tough being a lesbian in Uganda because uh, right over there you can never be open of who you are. You can't be afraid to even talk about your sexuality. You can't tell anybody, you know, being brought up in a Christian family, um, we were told homosexuality is a sin, you know, right from when we were children. And then growing up, you would get bullied and teased in school because, I mean, they, they think it's an abomination. It's not mm. acceptable. Uh, nobody would accept playing with them. No one would accept being with their children. I mean, it's, it's really tough. And um, I mean, it's a very tough thing in Uganda. Uganda being one of those homophobic countries, you know. Uh, can you imagine that uh, during the pandemic, um, we had some people on the news in Uganda, they said that the coronavirus was brought because of homosexuality. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's unfortunate. Yeah. I heard about it. I read yeah. about it. So that happened in Uganda and it's uh, leaders and I mean people say it. Mm. So you can see how hard it is being a lesbian in Uganda. It's very tough. Now you are in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Right. How do you compare both lives now you're in the UK and back home in the United Kingdom How, what's your experience like in the United Kingdom? Oh, as, as a lesbian um, life here is really good because I can be able to live openly I'm living an open life uh, right here if I get like let's say a partner no one will be bothered about it because it's yeah. normal which is not you know back home in Uganda yeah, so I'm really happy being here. Last time I was on the bus and a girl was kissing a girl and I felt like, wow, I wish this could happen in my country. You know, it was really a beautiful thing. Yeah, I really love it here. Yeah. yeah. How and, do you socialize? Tell me. Um, and um, before the lockdown, I'm very delighted that we've got Out and Proud African LGBT where we meet with uh, our fellow, you know, queer people, lesbians. We meet at, um, in Soho, Dean Street. And then we socialize in GAY. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Uh, we dance, we come together, we share experiences. But because of the lockdown, we couldn't meet up. Oh, so great. apparently we've been having, we're having some meetings. Okay. Yeah, as a uh, out and proud African LGBT group. Yeah, and I would also like to take this opportunity to thank um, the out and proud as a group for really being there for us they've been very supportive during the pandemic it's been a very tough time but they've been supportive financial wise and checking on us making sure everybody's fine mentally and physically and you know yeah i'm really very proud to be part of it hmm. yeah glad to hear that i it's one uh, question I normally ask uh, my guests on yeah. this uh, channel mm. uh, the coronavirus pandemic the lockdown yeah. um, it has brought different kind of experiences to people mm. um, what's your experience like this coronavirus um, pandemic lockdown how have you survived yeah it has really been tough at the beginning of uh, the lockdown it was very tough because before it we used to meet every week every weekend at the dean street and then we socialize at gay okay. so it was really hard for people like us uh, but then we thank God for the Zoom meetings because yeah. uh, we started having Zoom meetings as Out and Proud, African LGBT. And then later on, uh, Out and Proud started 
um, supporting us with food vouchers, with uh, uh, some money, with uh, broadband, airtime and internet on the phones. Yeah, so yeah, that really made the lockdown a bit, you know, yeah. a bit easy for us because it was very, very tough. Tough around that time. Yeah. Yeah, on this program we've had a lot of uh, uh, guests sharing their experience, just similar to what you've uh, just expressed now. Mm. Well, thankfully, um, organizations like uh, Art and Proud African LGBT yeah. has stepped up the plate mm. to help alleviate the uh, uh, problems of the pandemic. It's really mm. nice. Yeah, they've really helped yeah. a lot. Yes. Uh, it's nice having you on this program. Thank you. Is there anything you want to add and share with our viewers? Uh, I would like to thank the following people, uh, Joyce Jacob, I would like to thank uh, Joyce. Peter Thatcher, foundation. Uh, yeah. Found it, yeah, oh, Peter right. Thatcher's That's foundation, good. I would like to thank 56 Dean Street, oh, great. I would like to thank GAY, wow. nice. I would like to thank um, Gasworks. That's what, yeah. Yes, yeah, oh, for the help they've rendered to Out and Proud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't we wouldn't be free or here like this if they if it wasn't for their help. Oh great. That's what yeah. you mentioned. That reminds me of um, a workshop uh, that was organized uh, for members of the Art and Proud. Yes, yes. A screen printing workshop. Exactly, yes. Really yes. Nice to remember uh, the that. art and stuff, yeah, it was really That's really good. Yeah. There's another tricky one. Mm -hmm. I hope your Uganda is really good. Absolutely. I wanted to send a message to Ugandans, to Ugandans here in the UK, in Europe and back home. Do you want me to say that in my local language? Say it, I would love to say say it, that. Say it okay. and let me enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand it and the viewers. I'm learning. But now Uganda, Banange, Wano, a UK, ne Uganda. Twagalu uh, Kubatege Zantife Okubeda, Chinoche Tuli, Tetuchi Salao, Pofti Wetua, Ton Debwa Okubeda, Edang Mulikeda Ok to Isang in Solo, Mulikeda Okuta, Okukuba, no Kuiso, we are one too. Yeah. Wow. It's nice having you on this program. Yeah, it's getting me emotional. I hope when next we call upon you. Um, you definitely hit to our call. But before you go, you. what's your general message to our viewers? To, to all the viewers out there, um, I'm glad that I'm here. I'm so happy that the people in UK really accept us for who we are. So for the viewers in the UK, thank you so much for treating us as people. And to the viewers elsewhere, where um, uh, where it's homophobic, we really ask you to treat people really nicely. Everyone is special in their kind of way. Yeah. It's been nice having Resi on our program today. We are still at the Regents Park. Nice and lovely. This is uh, nostalgia. Uh, don't touch your dial. And hopefully, watch, share, comment, and subscribe to Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. See you very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.